2017. Um, I'm just starting like this vlogging journey. This is definitely not like the first vlog that I've ever put up or that I will have ever put up. But this is like the beginning of a journey for me because I want to vlog every week. And I basically just want to vlog where I'm at and what I'm doing because I feel like a lot of people are like going through a lot of the things that I'm going through but like nobody's really talking about it and it's kind of frustrating because it's like you see all this like dope shit going on and like all these like bomb things happening for people but you never really see real life <laughs> and I'm just like whatever like I'm at the point in my life where like I just want to show people my real life like really what I'm going through okay you guys so i was gonna vlog kind of like on the way to work but i'm waiting for a lift and yeah i'm the worst like i'm supposed to not be taking lifts this week because they they're like a big part of what i spend my money on like i take lift everywhere like you cannot oh shit i almost forgot my keys i definitely forgot my keys yesterday and i can't do that again today um but yeah, I get everywhere via Lyft, and I, it's a long story, like, I could buy a car, but I haven't had a car in like three years, and the shit, the way with that is like, ugh, okay, so, I make enough money to buy a car, but I don't make enough money to be like, okay, like, I can have my car, and like I can still do everything that I want like for me I like to travel I like to be able to go out with my friends whenever I feel like it you know in a car is such a big expense and also like I don't want a hoopty like I know it sounds like you know materialistic or whatever and some people will be like oh I'd rather be in a hoopty than ride in the bus but at the end of the day like I don't really ride the bus like that <laughs> Because all of my jobs are like centrally located and I just take the train. I don't mind the train too much and I have been taking Lyft a lot. The reason why I take Lyft a lot is because I like to take my sweet time getting ready and then by the time it's time to go, I'm almost late so I have to take a Lyft. But the places that I go to, parking is trash. So even if I had a car, like I wouldn't even really drive there. Like all of my jobs are downtown. One of my jobs is in Cambridge. So it's just like, mm, you know, it might not even be worth it for me right now. And like, I always knew that I was moving and I didn't want to have to like transport my car. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's a whole big thing with like my situation, my living situation right now. And I'll definitely get into it. But basically the point of me talking about the car is to let y'all know that I'm a trash human being. And even when I tell myself I'm not going to use Lyft, I always use Lyft. So there goes that. Y'all know a little bit more about me via that little fact. Actually, you know what? Let me go get my slides because I have on these little like furry slippers and they're just like not that comfortable. Let me see how I'll show you guys. So this is like, I have on all black because I'm going to Mac. And then I have on these little furry slippers. Ugh, my battery is like dying already. But literally all I'm going to do is go to the counter and then come home. So yeah. See you guys later. Hey you guys, so I actually didn't even like end up bringing my camera out because my battery was about to die and I didn't like charge it. <laughs> um, I filmed a beauty video this morning, which is why my battery was running low. Saying like, oh, I've been feeling like really uninspired with my makeup looks and stuff. I did my makeup, I liked it. It's not my most favorite look, but it's better than what I usually have going on right now. Um, and so many people noticed and it just like reaffirms to me like that's part of your business like your face is like the biggest part of your business so like get it right girl get it right so it's like an everyday struggle with that man because you got to be on all the time so you can tell people like hey i do makeup blah 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 whatever so you guys this is where i'm working today looking at mac i'm about to leave because it's nine o'clock Okay, you guys, so I'm actually leaving work, um, but I haven't been on camera all day because literally all I did was, like, get up and clean and then come to work. So, it's just been, like, a regular day, um, but I have a lot to do tonight because tomorrow is going to be, like, a pretty crazy day for me. I'm leaving the mall. It's closed, so there's, like, nothing to see here, but, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. Just turn the lights out, so that means 
get the hell out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, guys. So I'm home now. I'm like sitting on the bed, but I'm not going to bed because clearly I have on a full face of makeup. But I just wanted to like get on camera to end the day and like even just talk about some stuff that been on my heart like for like the past probably like the past few weeks. So basically like um I'm I've been telling you guys I'm a makeup artist. Um I've been doing makeup for like six years. And I started off working at Sephora. I worked there for like three and a half years. And then I moved on to MAC and I've been working at MAC for four years. So my first year at Sephora, I was a cash cashier and um, I didn't do makeup. Um, I just like loved it so much because it was something that I have always loved. Like literally since I was 10, I was like every like every time I got money, I would go to like Walgreens and buy candy and stuff. But I would also be buying like press on nails. Um, lip gloss any type of makeup that I could get my hands on I was like spending my money on it and hair and makeup was always something that I wanted to do because I knew hairstylists that were like really successful and um I just was always interested in it but everyone told me like no don't do it you need to go to college and like try to be a nurse or a teacher or something like that but at the end of the day like that's what I wanted to do and now it's been like me doing it for six years and it's just like such a fucking roller coaster so i just been thinking about so many things when it comes to like my career within like the past two weeks like literally like last week maybe a week and a half ago i was ready to be like forget it all like i don't want to do this anymore because at this point yes i do do makeup i have clients but not enough to like put me in a place in life where i need to be and i'm just like yo like i'm sick of struggling and I'm sick of basically being like a struggling artist, like just taking like what I can and just trying to make it work and blah, blah, blah. Like I was feeling so down on myself and just like I'm ready to quit. Like it's been years of this and I've seen some good years and I've seen some bad years and good days and bad days. But like overall, I'm like not where I need to be. And I was just like done, you guys. Like I was done. I was like crying about it I was just like I have fought so hard for this when I first started working at Mac my goal and I should say that I freelanced for Mac which means that I go to different places and I'm not a permanent associate there so um when I first started working at Mac my goal was to become permanent and at some point like get into fashion week and do fashion week through Mac and I wanted to be like a um, makeup artist for fashion shows editorial things like that but the more that I did makeup the more that I realized I really like working with like regular women and um I just like I like what that is like I like giving somebody a confidence boost I like making somebody feel like wow like you know I'm a regular person but like I'm glamorous so, like my goal kind of changed and I just wanted to gain clients of like regular women but it's like because this hasn't been paying the bills, I've had to do other things. Like, I had an office job for three years, like, the past three years, so I had to do this and that. And it hasn't allowed me to push myself where I needed to be. And I was just, like, when I tell you, like, I was depressed, like, I was depressed on other stuff, too. But I was just, like, so upset, like, feeling like, damn, am I ever going to get there? Am I ever going to make it? And... I kind of had like a revelation today maybe it wasn't today I think it was like last night and some of today too and it's just like yo like stop feeling like that because at the end of the day like the whole situation is a situation that you control at the end like yes you did have to do something else in order to pay bills and get some things done financially that you wanted to do but you made that choice and you can also make the choice to work harder than you ever have before like I really really want this and I don't know like I only know like a handful of people who feel this way about it like like the way that I do like it's just a tough situation to be in and like I would blame like my unsuccessful situation on things like oh like I don't live in a city where people love makeup and need makeup you know like I don't know if you guys know you might be watching this video from someplace else but if you're from the east coast um 
someplace like Boston, like women are not like women wear makeup. I'm not gonna sit here and women say women don't wear makeup because they do. But it's not like some place like down south where like like down south they be like, I can't go nowhere without my face on. Like everybody wears makeup and everybody's mama be telling them like you know, it's part of like becoming a lady. You wear makeup, things like that. New York is like, it's a big city. Like, everybody's trying to look good. LA, everybody's trying to look good. You know, Miami, everybody's sexy. Like, here is, it's just different. And that's true. But while that's true, it's, a, it's an excuse. Like, it's a whole ass excuse. So, I'm basically just here to tell y'all, like, how I felt about it and also to tell, like, other people. Don't let all of those excuses stop you. And like what I what I came to realize is like I've I've let all these things get in my way because of me. Like I have got in my own way. And then also like if I didn't want this, I wouldn't have been doing this for 6 years. Like last year, maybe like almost almost 2 years ago, like a year and a half ago, I was working my full-time job and I was still doing this. I was working seven days a week because I wanted to work at MAC every weekend so I could make sure that I had at least one client a week so I could have a face to practice on that wasn't mine. And I was taking clients like after work or like on the weekend, I would have them come to my house or if I didn't know them, I would go to their house. And like, you know, you wouldn't put yourself through all that if you didn't really, really want this. And you wouldn't pay thousands of dollars to have all your makeup in your kit if you didn't really want this. And you wouldn't pay money to go take seminars if you didn't want this you wouldn't sit up on youtube and see how other people do things if you didn't really want this like there was there's just so much that i have done and sacrificed and put into this and on top of it like just to be honest i'm not the most consistent person like i'm not consistent with a lot of things but with makeup i'm consistent as fuck like this has been a part of my life for almost a decade now in a few years it will be a decade and it's like there's nothing else that like I I have done like this. I have such like a love hate relationship with the career path that I chose, and I just have to like stop making excuses. So like, if you're watching this or like if you see any of like the the tutorials that I'm gonna put up, it's just like you have to know that that's that's part of me stopping with the excuses you know like I need to make this happen for myself and there's so many people out here making it happen for themselves and shout out to them because it's not as easy as people think good morning you guys today is Thursday July 27th and I am so tired <laughs> I'm exhausted like I um went to sleep so late I was like really used to going to sleep late and going into work late and I have a client right now it's like 7 o'clock right now. My client is at 8.30. And um, yeah, I'm on my way there. Well, I'm waiting for a lift to go there. And I'm so tired. Like, my eyes are so tired, which is why I'm wearing my glasses. And it's like barely helping. So I got to get a coffee before I go because I'm exhausted. I'm just now leaving the job that I was at. It was for like an hour and a half. I did two people's makeup, one man and one woman. They were, form they were filming. filming a video for like their job I don't really know exactly what it was for but now I'm done um oh shit it's like dribbling so I'm probably gonna need to put my camera away but anyway now I need to go get my nails done and I work at a nail salon so I get my nails done for free so there's no reason why my nails are always looking crazy. <laughs> it's just like I can't find the time to get to the salon. And yeah, that's basically the reason. But I'm gonna go get them done now. I'm supposed to go do my cousin's makeup right after this. But I'm in downtown Boston, so if you've never seen Boston,
up until like 4 o'clock in the morning. And um, I had to be at that 6.30. So yeah, I stopped at Cafe Nero. This is like my favorite coffee shop ever. So good. Um, this is my order. I always get the same thing. Get a um, flash ice coffee with coconut flavor and no space because I don't add milk or anything. So. And then this is like a, um, a pressed panini with bacon and cheese. This is my phone. So, yeah. I got like the coolest little spot in the corner so I can keep a watch out the window. This is where I work, but it's not the location that I work at. I get my nails done here because... Pictures. Yes. <laughs> Did you take me? Do you want one? <laughs> but yeah, this isn't the location I work at. I just get my nails in here because it's convenient. Hey, you guys. So, I just got home. I'm sitting at my desk. Just made myself a sandwich. And it's like a, a tomato cheese and lettuce sandwich. And I love those. But the amount of mayonnaise I just put on it was just like rude. I don't know why I did that. But it happened and I'm still going to eat it. So, yeah. I'm about to edit the beauty video that I made. But I actually got some other stuff to do still. My cousin is having an art show tonight. And I wanted to do her makeup for the show. So, um... I need to be at the place at 5 so I can do it and the show starts at 7 and right now it's like it's exactly 3 o'clock so I'm gonna set my alarm for 4 o'clock and um, then I have to like get ready and like clean brushes again because I just went and did two other people like I said this morning so I gotta clean brushes and then make my way over there at 4 30 but I'm trying to get this done first because I do want to put this video this week and I don't know that's something I do like whenever I'm like having a busy day like how I am today I set timers for myself so I'll either set an alarm for the time I want to be done or a timer and right now I'm actually going to just set a timer so I can press start when I like am done but this is it right here um yeah so I'll see you guys later you guys are gonna be with me at the art show my whole family is probably gonna be there um, I keep having the lens in, which is so annoying. But anyways, my whole family's going to be there. My dad is taking me, so it should be fun. And yeah, peace out.
gonna say the shit that is mine. Hats off, Tiff. I ain't never been to an art exhibit. Okay, you guys are in my vlog. Jeez, what's going my on? My vlog. Vlog? <laughs> there ain't no vlog, that's a camera. <laughs> I see it. There ain't no vlog. It's Uncle Ant and my dad. I'm, no, I'm the black pirate. Okay. <laughs> what you vlogging about? My vlog is called Lunch Bags Are Lame. Lunch Bags Are Lame? Yes. So it's about my life vlog. and times. You your life and your time? Yes, because I, I hate that nine to five life and lunch bags are lame. Right, entrepreneurship. Yes. Lunch bags are lame, I hate nine to five. That's my next t-shirt, I hate nine to five. Amen. Pop along. Pop along. <laughs> oh man, he don't like black women. He's got land in Africa, he's building a spot for us. Yeah. He said, if you got TVs or initials in your headrest, you cannot come. Oh, Based you can't what? come to Africa. Based on what? <laughs> that. He said, you're <laughs> really? That is so rude. That is. So we don't need you. can you. sit in the front. Well, no, what though? That's his issue. He has issues. Oh, everybody's good for Good morning. So it is Friday, July 28th. Yes. It's Friday, July 28th. <laughs> I just woke up. You can probably tell because my voice is like a little bit off. And I need to do some organizing and cleaning before I go do a client. And then I have to work tonight. So it's like 9 in the morning. I have until probably like 12 o'clock to do this. But I have this crazy ass room in my room. It's like an enclosed porch, and I use it kind of like an office. Well, right now, it's kind of like a junkyard, and um, that's not okay. So, I'm going to get this together. <laughs> this is it. It's where my computer is and stuff, and sometimes I film here. So, you know, I want to, like, make it a better space for myself. So, this is it here. And I'm trying to just get this together because this is like so unacceptable and I really don't like sitting in here when it's like this so I'll show you guys where I get once I get there <laughs> okay so I'm pretty much done I've done what I can do for right now this bag is going to um, Goodwill but I got to put it in a new bag because clearly it's like all ripped I cleaned my desk which I really needed to do so there goes my desk. But this side, on the other hand, I can't really do too much about it. So that black bag got to go to um, the dry cleaner. This stuff needs to be washed in the washer, but I have to figure out, like, where and how I'm going to store it at this house. And the totes are, like, all my bedding and stuff. And I'm not going to take them out because I know I'll be moving in a few months. Obviously, that's my ring light. And this is my nephew's little bike. <laughs> and this air conditioner that doesn't work and I have to like google where I can find to throw junk away but all in all it's definitely better than before so this is my little workspace y'all when I'm like editing videos making videos whatever this is where I'm at there it goes see y'all in a few
usually comes really quickly. apologize again. <laughs> You saw me go into mini lux, but you didn't see me go into MAC. Uh, today is National Lipstick Day, and it turns out y'all go ham for lipstick. So work was crazy. And after work, I had dinner with my family, and I actually was going to vlog with them, but I just needed some personal recharge time. <laughs> so um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. It's the first episode of Lunch Bags Are Lame, um, the vlog where you see me try to never, ever use a lunch bag ever again. <laughs> So yeah, tune back in next week and thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you're the real MVP. Peace out.